to another episode of the Q&A Sunday where we don't edit anything. Um, today, actually, I have no shout outs because I honestly wasn't prepared. Um, I'm doing my Q&A Sunday on Saturday. And like we always discuss, I'm completely honest with you guys on everything that I'm doing. But in light of tomorrow being Valentine's Day, I have to shoot it today. Why? Because the person behind me, behind you filming me, will kill me. <laughs> so since we're at the uh, beautiful Masonic Temple and Museum in Alexandria, Virginia, we figured that this would be a nice area to do a Q&A Sunday, but we're shooting it on Saturday. So I have no shout outs, we'll do the shout outs all next week and uh, we're just going to start out with the questions and answers. Since I wasn't prepared again, the questions are going to come directly from Chrissy B that's holding the camera and I'm going to answer them truthfully. So Chrissy, take it away. First question. Alright, your first question is, what are some of your motivations for continuing your YouTube channel? Some of my motivations for continuing my YouTube channel. Honestly, some of my motivations would be... Um, of course, the fitness, what we've been doing since October. Um, the other thing is actually sharing my life with you guys. What motivates me is because, I think I've mentioned this in another video, I'm seeing changes within myself just truly from sharing my life with you guys. Me doing this actually keeps me in check, it keeps me balanced, and it keeps me honest. So, me improving myself is actually one of the biggest motivators for me to keep going. Alright, your second question is... What are some places you'd like to do go and do your YouTube channel uh, videos on your bucket list? Okay, uh, places that I would like to do YouTube channels on my bucket list. Um, actually, one place that I still haven't showed you guys yet is uh, Paradise Island when we went to um, the Bahamas. I still haven't showed you guys the tour that we did there and everything that we did in Atlantis. You saw when we went through the mall in Atlantis and all the other things we did, but not that particular place, and I have two videos to show you on that. But every month this year, my plan is to do my best to go to a different place. And I'm in Virginia, so this is a, technically a different place, but I'm gonna try to do better planning. But um, I definitely um, wanna go to more islands, wanna do more cruises. Um, I want to go to California and film there. I've never been to California and I'm going there for VidCon. Uh, I want to try to uh, probably go somewhere exotic. I'm going to try to go to South Korea this year to visit uh, Kenny, a.k.a. Mr. Assman. And <laughs> Kenny, I know you're laughing. And um, I don't know. I just, I just want to experience the world. All right. So that question is kind of open-ended because... My name is Life Riley and I want to experience life and that includes everything so I'll just take you along on the journey. Alright, your third question is, how has doing your YouTube channel affected your personal relationships? Um, I had to learn how to um, provide structure in my life. I had to learn to become more of a master of my time because as you know, it takes up a lot of time. YouTubers spend a lot of time filming and we spend a lot of time editing that film so that you can get the products that you get it's not easy and does it take a toll on relationships it can't if you don't do it properly um, the type of relationship I have with Chris she is fully 100% supportive of what I do and is there with me when I'm editing most of the time so we spend time together even when I'm trying to edit and do things for you so I try to share the time but I also try to make time and our agreement as well is there's a time and a place to do YouTube videos and there's a time and a place to vlog and sometimes I don't vlog just out of respect for her and our relationship because we do need our private time and she appreciates that so we do well. All right and your last question is regarding your fitness. Uh -huh. What has changed over the course of the past few weeks? What has improved what improvements have you seen over the past few weeks regarding your fitness? Okay, well as a lot of you know, uh, I wasn't doing very well. A lot of you know, which was one of the beginning stages of my YouTube videos, is that I suffered very highly with high blood pressure. It was really bad. I was literally a walking stroke. 
and I've since then gone to the doctor twice for two different reasons. One for a checkup and one for a follow-up on my high blood pressure issue for my job. And it's progress blah blah. It's progressively gone down. And I'm at the point where I'm entering the normal stages again. The other thing is a lot of you know that I've um, lost a total of 32 pounds since I've started. I've been tracking it, you've been seeing it in the video, so you guys fully understand where I am at this stage in time. Um, you guys know that I do the stairs all the time. That's what I do on every single. That's what I do every single day. Um, I'm now getting to the stage where I can do those flights twice a day. Um, yesterday I did an entire flight in the morning uh, of seven six five four three two one. You already know what that means, and I was able to get through half of it again. So it's very difficult. After I'm done, my legs are pretty much killed. Uh, but I'm trying to get through it as much as possible. So my fitness goals have changed, my life goals have changed, and ironically, what I was talking to Chris about the other day is the way I eat has changed. Because on my birthday, I fully planned on eating all the junk food I could eat. But when it came down to it, all I could order was health food because I guess it's just a part of me now to become my lifestyle, and I prefer to eat the paleo way or the more organic way. Um, instead of eating pastries and breads and stuff like that. Today I got a um, muffin only because I just felt like it. But on most days, I don't really know. Um, so that concludes questions and answers. Um, in terms of updates, what I'm doing is, um, Chris is telling me to wrap it up, by the way. Um, just so you know, I'm embarrassed. My fingers are freezing <laughs> right now, okay? But um, look, to wrap it up real quick, Derek and I are meeting later on today. We're gonna get our thumbnails done for LDR. Uh, we already have a video and on Monday we're gonna be shooting a new video for LDR. So expect this to see LDR coming to you. I'm just gonna be doing So this coming Wednesday, make sure that you go to the Life Demands Results YouTube channel, which is gonna be in the description. I love you guys. I'm doing well. Hope you guys continue to do what you're doing. I hope you continue to watch my video. Subscribe and of course share. I love you. Don't forget to live life, because life demands results. So your results say about you.